the small Principality of Liechtenstein is richer than the Queen herself. If you were looking for a new definition of wealth, this small Principality would pop up in the Google search. But is it any good to start your business there? Let's talk about it now! Hi, I'm Oliver and welcome back to the channel Ask Me Startup, where we talk about startups, small businesses and the world that surrounds them. If you're new here, please consider subscribing and pushing the notification bell so YouTube lets you know whenever I'm uploading new content. If you're into business, if you have a small business, if you plan to start a business, please feel free to download my free startup checklist, link in the description below. Today's topic, the Principality of Liechtenstein. Is it a good place to start your business? Now, as always in this series, we take a look on the facts about the country first. So the Principality of Liechtenstein is sandwiched in between Switzerland in the west and Austria in the east. Its capital is Vaduz, which is also the biggest and largest city in the small country, and they all have a population of 38,000 inhabitants. These 38,000 people make a GDP per capita of $186,000 US the largest sum I have ever mentioned in any of my videos so far. Just to give you a perspective, the GDP PPP per capita of Switzerland, which they are forming an economic zone together, is 73,000, which is already huge ahead of any of the other European countries. But Liechtenstein is taking it to a new level. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to find the GDP PPP per capita data for Liechtenstein, and the reason being most likely that the statistics would be wrong due to the small population size. So if you want to start a business in Liechtenstein, we would like to understand how entrepreneurial are those people there. And since there are no real data because of the small size, we have to assume that the levels of entrepreneurship are similar to the ones we find in Switzerland. If you're not quite sure about Switzerland, I'll link a video up here for you. These values are among the best in Europe. Hence, you will find very good educated people. If you find excellent universities, you will find an excellent startup ecosystem as well. The next thing we have to take a look at is the legal and governmental framework. And here we are at a level that is exceptional, and it is the exception within Europe, I would say. So Liechtenstein has an exceptionally well orchestrated legal system. It is on par with Switzerland and the European nations, but it is taking the best of both worlds. What I mean by this? So the Swiss are, let's put it in one way or the other, unique, and they're not member of the European Union. Liechtenstein isn't a member as well, but they have adopted all the legal requirements from the European Union to their own, and they have adopted the ones from Switzerland, and they have adopted further laws, which are important in the next step to look at, which would be taxes. So if you look at the tax regime in Liechtenstein, we can say that they have very favorable tax among the lowest in Europe, but they also have adopted trust laws on taxation. And maybe that is one of the reasons why they're doing such a good GDP per capita, because a lot of wealth is transferred to the Principality of Liechtenstein. Let me be clear. Germans, for instance, that have made a fortune and want to protect their wealth are actually going to Liechtenstein to preserve their wealth in the future for many reasons. One of them being taxes. They are not running away from the tax authorities in Germany. No, 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 because Liechtenstein has updated their tax laws in such a way that they're accepted by any European state member. Hence, you can legally transfer your money there, but then you don't have capital gains taxes, you don't have dividend taxes, except for those companies that are working and residing in Liechtenstein itself. Hence, most likely for many of those rich people, it is not a problem. And they have a specific crypto law, which is enabling them to do banking services for crypto companies, crypto startups. You see, now we're at a level that many other countries are not playing in yet proper. So if we want to start a business in Liechtenstein, we would like to understand what popular brands are there that are derived from this principality. And funny enough, 
there are some world-known brands. Number one is Hilti. Now this huge company that is in the manufacturing of construction supplies is known all over Europe and you will see those red cases most likely on any construction site in the world. Number two would be the LBT, which is the largest privately owned asset management bank in the world. It is owned by the principality of Liechtenstein and it is guided and led by the prince himself. That already now should give you an indication that the Principality of Liechtenstein is offering you a unique set of possibilities to grow world-known brands because they're doing everything they can to provide the best possible surroundings. Then, I have to add something that is also important. Liechtenstein is offering financial services to crypto startups. Why is it so important? I do live in the crypto valley. It is around the corner. But banks here are scared like hell to offer any banking services to a crypto company. So hence what they do is they have all their offices and research here in Zug area, but their bank account is in Liechtenstein. So why not go there directly? And that's actually what's happening. So Liechtenstein has become a competition to the marketing cloud of Crypto Valley. Let's face it one way or the other. That has been bad for Switzerland. And of course they're trying to update, but I would say except for one bank that is currently offering banking services for crypto startups, nothing much has happened as of yet. Despite the fact that I can pay taxes in Ethereum and Bitcoin in Zug. But enough of Switzerland. You might be now very favorable of that small principality of Liechtenstein and ask yourself, is there a startup visa to Liechtenstein? And the short answer is, no, there isn't. The long answer is, there are other visas you can get. So, first of all, you have to be aware that Liechtenstein does not offer their own legal framework for residencies. They're actually attached to the Swiss law. Hence, the Swiss federal government is defining the laws of who is able to get a residency here or not. If you want to get a residency within the Principality of Liechtenstein, you can have a residency by investment. But the investment sum is somewhat large and can be up to 1 million Swiss francs. Hence, that might not be ideal for anybody. But you might get a work visa just be aware that only once a year, the Principality of Liechtenstein is giving away residencies. And they have a very clear and strict rule on who can apply and who not, and how they're actually distributing it between the different stakeholders. They are actually growing very small because they know that they're so wealthy that everybody would be attracted to live there. Hence, they'd select much, much stronger than many other countries would do. So is the Principality of Liechtenstein a good place to start your business? The quick answer for me is, yes, it is. Seriously. If you look at the startup ecosystem, if you look on how they're actually trying to cooperate with the rest of the world, that they have come clean since 2009 from those shady tax practices, I would say there isn't a much better place to start your business than Liechtenstein. A, it is part of the economic area of Switzerland, hence you can move freely in and out and you can have all the work and transfers, etc., from Liechtenstein to Switzerland, which is a good place because it already enables you to have a larger market. B, it's center of Europe, hence it is easy to get in and out. You can fly from Zurich, which is an hour and a half drive to the Principality of Liechtenstein, and you are all over the world because people will know you when you're in Liechtenstein because they might ask, where are you from? But in reality, since it's also a German-speaking country, you have access to the large German-speaking markets, which would be Germany, Austria, Switzerland, which is already quite a substantial market in the European Union. Then, Liechtenstein is offering better crypto services than any other country I currently know within the European Union, to be quite frank with you. They don't have capital gains taxes. They do have a wealth tax, but it's like the small amount that we used to have in Switzerland as well. Hence, it is not really relevant for you as a startup. All right, everybody. I hope this short video on the Principality of Liechtenstein was helpful to you. If you have ever heard of this Principality, just drop a comment down below. If you actually manage to start a business there, please let us know your experiences. Share the, some insights with us, please. 
If you made it so far in the video, please subscribe and push the notification bell because it really, really helps this channel to grow. I thank you for your attention and I'm gonna see you next time.